Hello, my name is Pam Foley. I've maintained a sculpture practice in the UK since 1999. Within my practice, I have three activities. I teach life sculpture, where my classes use a life model. I make and sell limited edition sculptures, and I devise and execute projects on subjects that are of interest to me. In this current project called Roots of Sorrow, Grieving Without Finality, I have responded to the loss of both of my parents and others through the creation of a work of art. Um, the aim of this exhibition is to make visible connection between healing and to enable a dialogue between the public and artists in which to explore the subject of grief and sorrow through curiosity and conversation. Um, another intention for this project is it for it to be used by mental health professionals. So for example, after leaving this site, uh, St. Barnabas Church, the artwork will reside at uh, St. Andrew's Hospital, um, which is run by St. Andrew's Healthcare in Northampton, a leading mental health charity. Mental health professionals will work with people in recovery using this artwork um, to help people to tease out and cope with personal issues. To help members of the public and mental health professionals to understand this art piece, I provided a list of discussion points similar to those you might find in a book club. Uh, for example, there are two recurring symbols throughout this work, the bird with the broken wing and the dried rose and rose petals. The bird with the broken wing is our internal self, which at times can be vulnerable and fragile. The dried rose and rose petals, to me, signify memory of a vitality that has passed, and it's a reminder of sorrow um, and loss. It also conveys the brittle exterior that we must present to the outside world at a time when we may be feeling numb. In this artwork, I've introduced two concepts, chronic sorrow, which is defined as grieving without finality, and transgenerational transference of sorrow, which is also known as inherited sorrow. It's my goal to make another work that I will add to this, which I'm calling Triggers. And that will delve into uh, more deeply some of the issues raised here. Triggers will include a wall hanging that is, will be made from my father's handkerchiefs and will incorporate original music and in time, sculptures. This artwork is currently on display and available to the public. And I welcome comments, which can be left in a comments book adjacent to the artwork. You can also go to my website and leave a message for me in my blog.